Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we will be adding two figures right here to our Takara Tomi collection. Okay, so we have the Red Lion right here, and I think this is actually from the Animal Adventure series. Okay, so it is actually known as the Animal Risk Adventure. I'm not too sure, but in Japanese, the direct translation is basically like risk. It is like a huge mission. And this one is actually quite an old figure, but it's a 20, you know, 2023 rabbit figure, a pair of rabbit right here. So yep, we don't have this golden rabbit. So I think it's very nice for us to add this to a collection. And then we will be taking a look at the previous, you know, animal risk adventure series right there. Okay, so let's get right into it. Alright guys, so now let's have a look at this lion which is known as Leon, I think. And um, yep, it is a brand new figure so we actually need to cut the box open. I'm gonna use like a box cutter to cut the tape tapes loose. So just give me a second guys, okay? So let's have a look at this. So it basically comes with this stats right here. So let's have a look, but it is actually in Japanese so I can't really understand and um you know understand what it is saying so we have to get the facts cut out which there are like two pieces right here and if you take a look at this um this is actually in japanese we shall have a look at the one in english so yep i think this is like a new series that the car told me has created recently and i think they look fantastic okay so this is basically known as leoni i wasn't able to see you know the last few letters so leoni Style and combat fit for a king. Even Ratar is impressed. Ratar, I think it's um that little otter right behind. Okay, so let's have a look at this. You can see this is like the meter. It has an attack which is very high, like five. I think it's the highest. Speed of four. Special ability only two. Strategy five and defense four. So you are able to rotate the head right here as well open and close the jaw okay so yep very nice red lion so this is actually known as leoni once again okay so let's place leoni right here i'm gonna put the box um over here i'm trying to close the box so leoni let's place leoni right here next we are going to take a look at this two golden i mean not two one of them is actually a white rabbit and the other one is a golden rabbit so yep i think they actually released like a chinese luda new year um series but this is actually my very first you know cny series figure this golden rabbit i think it should be like a limited edition rabbit you can see um the sculpt is actually pretty good very nice painted with metallic paint you guys should know that i am a huge fan of metallic paint this rabbit is more or less the same as the previous one from the Takara Tomi Anime series. Uh, pretty cool detailing, I would say. Um, you can see very fine detailing of the furs, the eyes, and the mouth are very nicely painted. So very cute and adorable. And I think it also comes with some fact cards. Let's try to find a fact cards. Oh, it's right here, guys. Oh, wow. This is actually nice. It actually comes with a backdrop. So this is actually quite cool. And what is this? Oh, you're supposed to like place it like this. And display these two rabbits over here. Pretty cool, I would say. But it doesn't come with the fact cards. Let's have a look at this. Nope, there isn't any fact cards about the rabbit, I suppose. Yep, so I think they are basically like, you know, for the year of the rabbit. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the other. Okay, let's have a look at this again. Is there like a name for this series? I can't read this, so it basically says Mao Xian Da. Uh, I can't really read the last word, so it basically basically means like it's an adventure, a risky adventure. Okay, so next one, let's have a look at this. This is basically Silver, the Silverback Gorilla. So let's get it out. Um, it comes with the facts, facts card as well. I'm gonna move this aside. So I'm gonna place Silver 
right over here. So silver is basically a silverback gorilla, and they have actually painted um, the back of the body in this very nice white patterns and some patterns across the arms. Okay, so the next one is actually this one, which is um, uh, the information card. It's Intimidating Drumming Mix Enemies Fleas. He cares deeply for his friends and watches over them, but he sometimes gets too passionate and overdoes it. Only the leader of the gorillas has a silver back. The gorilla is rough and masculine, but it it also has a major sweet tooth. Wait, really? Yeah, I think they love to eat fruits, that's for sure. That, that is the gorilla. Okay, we've forgotten to read the facts of the lion, okay? So the lion's mane is a sign of its royalty, and the mane protects its neck from enemy's fangs. Great. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one, which is the otter right here. The blue otter. And the blue otter is actually known as Raktar. Okay, let's have a look at this. The Asian small clock otter speeds around the water with its amazing tail. What's more, it has eyes that can see clearly even underwater. Wow. Okay, so special ability, ambitious battle, and teamwork. You can see, you know, this attribute graph is actually way, way, way weaker than um, the lion. You can see this figure, very nice articulation on the entire figure. And I love how they've actually painted um, this otters, I mean, this animals in very bright and vibrant colors. I love this blue otter, that's for sure. I'm gonna place this one right here. Very cool. Now let's move on to the next animal, which is known as Cyrus, okay, which is an Indian rhinoceros. Let's get this one out. So they've actually painted this rhinoceros in two different color tones, which is not realistic because the Indian rhinoceros does not have a yellow horn, that's for sure. It does not have any like brown parts and gray parts, that's for sure. Okay. Indian rhinoceros can send heavy objects flying by ramming into them with their horn. However, they're known to have bad eyes, so they can only see up close. What a dangerous animal. Rata and the gang's first friend after leaving the village. Better keep an eye on him or he'll get lost. Um, yep. Okay, this is Cyrus. Next, let's have a, look, have a look at this one which is known as... Is this Adar? Not too sure because the claws are actually blocking it. So it seems to be a parrot. So let's get... Okay. Okay, I didn't unbox this one yet, uh, but I think it's fine. So this is basically a doll. I'm gonna have a look at the cards to make sure that we really get the name right. It's actually Addy, it's not Adar. So let's have a look at what Addy is. So Addy, it's a... What is Addy? Electus Parrot. Smart and great at talking, coming from nowhere all village, he's got wealth of information. So, he's basically like the brains of the um, pack, I, I guess. Uh, you can actually open the wings, which is kind, kind of cool. The head can be rotated, the legs can't be moved, okay? In addition to impersonations, the Electus Parrot is great at using its beak and claws to do work with major precision. Fantastic. Very nice, just gonna place this one right here. Um, over here, let's close the box. Okay, let's have a look at the next one, which is probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest animal in the entire set, which is the elephant. And I think the name is Elephar. I can't see the last few letters. Okay, it's actually Elephar right here. You can see, you know, the stats is actually pretty consistent. Okay. So what do we have right here? A brown elephant. You can see it has like a star mark on his body, so it's pretty cool. Uh, the neck can be moved, the tail can be moved. Okay, the, no, the tail can be moved, but of course you are able to just swing it around. There's no articulation on the tail, actually. There are two um, ball joints right here. Okay, very nice. What about the mouth? Nope. So let's place the elephant right here. Let's have a look at what is written for the elephant. So, the elephant is basically known as Alpha, which is, I mean, it's not really like a cr super creative name. 
Um, he sends Rattong and the others on an adventure after foreseeing an erupting volcano. So it's able to predict, I guess, giant body and intellect. That's his uh, special ability. He guides everyone with his wisdom and experience. So very nice. And you can see in terms of the of its attributes, it is very, very consistent and very high in all factors. Special ability, strategy, defense, attack, speed, they are all great. So now let's move on to the next one, which is the Porcupine. Is this the Hedgehog? Yep, you can see this one is actually one of my most favorite figures from this set. I'm gonna show you guys why. Okay, let's put, put this one right here. So this is basically the four-toed hedgehog and his name is actually Hart. Always worried about Rattar who pushes himself too far, the dependable one on the team. So he's really dependable and you can see can ball herself up to defend in a pinch. Um, the English definitely sounds very weird but we get the idea. It's able to roll itself into a ball. As you guys can see and um, basically when it's when it's caught into a ball only the spikes are exposed to the enemy and it actually protects it from the attacking predator I suppose very cute very very adorable I'm gonna put this one um, um, maybe right over here okay and our last pack of the day is actually this giraffe which is known as Amine or a mine all right and it is a black and white zebra which is very very unique i feel it's very cool looking this sculpt is actually quite similar to the previous one or should i say it is exactly the same just that it has a different color scheme beautiful figure let's have a look at um the cards right here all right Let's have a look at this Reticulated Giraffe A female giraffe that watches over the village animals with great kindness But when she gets mad, she can be terrifying The Reticulated Giraffe tall hut allows it to see far away But it can see things at its feet Isn't that a shock? Wow, so it can see anything that is like, you know, at its feet Which is right here So because the eyes, as you can see hmm, That's weird, that's really really weird all right, Speedy Legs are 50 centimeter tongue. So the tongue is very, very long, that's for sure. And you can see in terms of the attribute graph, it is quite weak in certain areas such as the speed, strategy, and defense. All right, I'm gonna place this one right over here. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys ask me, which one do I think is like the most, the strongest animal, I would say it's the, um, Alifar because Alifar it has a very consistent um, set of attribute attributes 4 4 4 um, and um, 2 5s or else the lion which is kind of which is quite good as well but it's actually quite weak in a special ability what about the gorilla the gorilla yeah I'm actually quite surprised by it because the special ability is only like one which is kind of unfair, I think. The strength should be a lot... Attack should be higher. I, th I think the attack should be like 5 because gorillas are actually very strong. So, yep, this is basically um the set of... um. Let's just call this the... I'm not too sure what to call this actually because I can't read uh, the Japanese. It basically is... Maosian. Maosian means it's like a very dangerous adventure. Yeah, let's just call this the Adventure Animals. Yeah, let's just keep it simple, okay? Yeah, I really love this set of um figures, that is for sure. Um, and yes, hopefully we are able to get more of these animals. I love the color scheme especially. If we are able to get more of this, I think that would be pretty fantastic uh, next time. And it also comes with this collector's card, which I think is, is a pretty good addition. Alright, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.